Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four completely different, uh, we'll just call them holiday nogs. <laughs> um, this is the non-dairy Chobani oat milk oat nog. This is the Blue Diamond Almonds Almond Breeze Almond Milk Nog. That's a mouthful. Uh, this is the Organic Valley um, Eggnog, but it's reduced fat. And then this one is the Private Selection Limited Edition Old Fashioned Eggnog. This is the only one that's like a normal eggnog. That's why I put it for the very last, because yeah. I'm sure it's going to be we very don't rich. We skew the results. Yeah, and then this one I would think it would be yeah, pretty normal. Yeah, it's, it's reduced, reduced, reduced fat, fat. So the, the prices, yeah. the Private Selection was $4.99. The Organic Valley was $5.99. The Blue Diamond was $3.39. And the Chobani was $3.99. And we found all four at Christmas. Over. And honestly, if I wanted to keep buying even more, I could have because, but we, and some we tried. We have, yeah, we've done a lot. Like they had the lactates in there and they mm -hmm. had the Southern Comforts in there. We've tried a lot of eggnogs on this channel. So just, if there's a brand you're thinking of, do a search, Tammy Dunn and whatever the brand is, we might have already done it. Um, so this is the non-dairy Chobani oat milk oat nog flavored limited batch no lactose, no nuts, no gluten. Uh, they're made in New Berlin, New York. Vegan friendly, eight servings in the container. Half a cup, 120 milliliters is 100 calories. And it says, refrigerate after opening. Well, heck, it was already in the refrigerator. I guess it didn't have to be. I don't, I don't know. know. The way that they worded that, made it sound like you didn't, it need, didn't, to. You didn't need to maybe you didn't okay. but i bet you uh nobody would buy it if they didn't have it in the refrigerated section yeah. because that's where people look for it right you would this would be good if you had uh if you're lactose intolerant but also if you uh, had a nut allergy yes now i can say it. it's not it doesn't look very thick no um i it smells good. i shook these up before we got on camera just you probably might not have needed to but i did it, did. it says shake well oh it does say shake well well i did yeah because it's, somebody always leaves that comment it's like i did it's the texture of just regular milk or oat milk or whatever yes um, i don't mind the flavor though flavor's bad i don't either um, i mean for an oat milk it's not that really rich like traditional eggnog flavor exactly but, but it's still good it's not rich and creamy there's no creaminess to right. it whatsoever because it's like our regular milk it doesn't it's not thick mm -hmm. which you know i've been told over and over like again that. a lot of people don't like the thickness yeah. well maybe you need to try i don't know what's what's good about it though is you're you get a little bit of that od kind of flavor but not a lot it's not no. like that's not the main flavor no it's the nutmeg yeah it's it's 100 percent the yeah, nutmeg. i think they did a good job on it i think they did too because i was uh wondering am i gonna like this kind of thing at all um i don't mind that so it's you also know half the calories is regular right? yeah yeah <laughs> this is a yeah you just wait this is only only 100 calories for, for, for eight ounces yeah yeah only Which is 100 still calories. Lies, but yeah i think that's good i, I don't mind that at all no i, I don't better. mind that no because it's it's a very strong nutmeg mm -hmm. flavor yep. is what you're getting um, this is the Blue Diamond Almonds Almond Breeze Almond Milk Nog. Uh, this is limited time only. Egg, dairy, lactose, soy, and gluten free. Huh. It says a uh, half a cup, 120 milliliters is the same. 100. It's only 70 calories. Oh, right. 70 instead so of. Less. Yes, this is fewer calories. Of course, you can't have this if you have a nut allergy, so. I do not. I tell you what, if you like broke one of those, those, you'd never get that thing open. No, I do not like those. <laughs> the little, the little ring. If you were to pull that ring off, you'd never get that open. I you'd would have just have rather open it to see this is thick. I would rather open it the old-fashioned way, like you did at school, the milk gardens at school. Um, I would just rather open it that way. So now this shake well, we did that. Uh, oh, okay. This is produced by for Blue Diamond Growers in Sacramento, California. Okay. It is thicker, for sure. Okay. They, they didn't put the seasonings and other spices in there. No, but not as much. But it's sweeter. 
It was I a think little, it's, it's a touch sweeter. So the the Not a lot sweeter though. The main flavor of the Chobani was nutmeg. The main flavor of this uh, blue diamond is just sweet. But, sweet, but I also get that nutty flavor too. Yes, but you get very, very, very little nutmeg. Mm -hmm. But it has the texture that the Chobani doesn't yeah, have. Yeah, I agree. So I think there's good and bad things there about There are, there are trade-offs. It really just depends on what you can drink. But, you but I could totally drink this. I, I like this quite a bit because it is so sweet. <laughs> it's like a milkshake. I could drink either one of them, but I actually prefer the oat milk one. Uh, I prefer the Blue Diamond. Yeah, yeah I do. I, I, I like the thickness of it, and I like that sweet the yeah. sweet level. Um, but now the Chobani's fine too. Yeah. I, I'm, it, I, it surprises me that I liked both of them. Well, you're not going to be drinking these unless you probably ha you have either a lactose intolerance or your your nut allergy or something like that. Right. You know, you're not going to be drinking these if you can. No, drink, you're going to buy your <clears throat> original eggnog. Well, you would think so. Unless you're trying to watch your calories, then you might. That's true. Yeah. That's true, unless you care about calories. That's very true. Okay, now we're going up on calories a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is the Organic Valley ethically sourced from small family farms eggnog reduced fat 33 percent less fat than regular eggnog ultra pasteurized grade a creamy and delicious this is a cord like the other ones shake well freshest tasting within seven days of opening eight servings in the container half a cup 120 milliliters same as all the other ones is 150 calories so, so 50 calories more than the oatmeal yes Okay, and what? these are distributed by Lafarge, uh, out of Crop Corporative in Lafarge, Wisconsin. We can talk about the total fat in just a minute. Okay. This is supposed to reduce fat, so. I'm yeah. Okay. No antibiotics, no synthetic hormones, no toxic pesticides, no GMOs are used on our farms. Okay. Another one of these. Uh, yeah, except for the crop ones, they're all like I, would I know you I can still open it the other way, I think. I just don't like those things. It's supposed to be easier, but... Well, it probably seals better. When you just fold them, they don't really seal. That one looked thick. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just reduce five. Okay. It's not. The spices are okay. They need a few, little bit more in there, but... Now see, I, I, I think it's nice. Um, it is nice, and it's got the sweetness and the thick texture and stuff like that. It just It could use a little bit more nutmeg. I think it could use a little bit more sweetness. For all the calories that it has, yeah. I think the almond, the blue diamond, was sweeter. Yeah. It comes across as sweeter, but that didn't have the level of nutmeg. This has a higher level of it nutmeg. It does. It's more. It's still not enough for me. I like I like a lot of it. Who do you so. think did a better job on the season, the spices? I think the oat milk is the best spice one. I do too. So far. I like the spice level on the Chobani. I like those spices more than the organic yeah, garlic. Yeah, they just needed to add a little bit. The, the spices are nice that are there. It's just they're not very, they don't call very mm -hmm. strong. They need to just add a little bit more. And you can see how the the cup is coated. Yeah, like this oat one, it's hardly coated at all, honestly. Um, okay. Now, this one was supposed to be a reduced fat. Oh, yeah. First of all, let me just compare. This is 200 calories instead of 150. 200? Yeah. Um, but the total fat on that one's six. Six grams. This one's 10. Wow. So that sounds like a lot, but that's really not that much more if you think about Four it. Four grams more fat. How much cholesterol does that thing have? 75 milligrams. This one has 70. So this actually has This has 17 carbs. Oh, uh, this one has 24 carbs. Carbs. <laughs> so if you are on keto, yeah, you're not drinking just anything forget, on. just keep on walking. Keep, keep, keep your buggy, keep on walking past. You, you know, I thought the other milk has zero carbs. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Uh, 13 grams of carbs. 13. I'm telling you, the keto crowd, I don't yeah, think there you're is... You're not getting eggnog. Answer me that. Is there a keto <laughs> eggnog? Want, I don't want to try it. I don't think so. I don't want to um, try it if there is. <laughs> Kevin's already saying, nope. no, you don't get a review of it. Okay, private selection, which is Kroger brand. We bought all these at Kroger. Limited edition old-fashioned eggnog. Ultra pasteurized, rich in custardy yeah. with warm hints of cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and whiskey flavor. Hmm. Hmm. 200 calories for half a cup, 
And they're out of Cincinnati, Ohio. So the custard texture is the thicker texture. That's that's what gives it that thicker texture. It's almost like it's been uh, like a boiled custard almost. You can buy the summer year. You can buy custard or you can buy, I tell you what, I complained about those, but. That may be worse. Yeah. Um, you can buy eggnog or you can buy custard. Um, it's the spices. If you've never bought custard, buy, buy some custard. It is absolutely wonderful. It, um, it uh, has a really terrific, sweet, vanilla, really nice flavor. Use my built-in can opener. Mm. Oh, if, if I had a knife, I would just take a knife and go, doink. Okay. okay. I just cut off my fingernail. <laughs> I, I just cut my fingernails, but I got one little edge. <laughs> Look at the color. Yeah, now that's traditional eggnog. The color um, is, it's, it it's, like um, it, it's like a, how would you, how would you describe that color? Like an olive, like a yellowish almost color. Yeah. Hmm. That does taste a little like the whiskey. It's a little oaky, like a little woodsy. I could drink that whole bottle, but you know what? The spices still aren't very strong. This, uh, it, it, it's not my favorite eggnog mm -hmm. because it does have that whiskey yeah, in it. Yeah, it tastes like a wood, like a wood barrel. Kind it of like changed it. Kind of yes, it changed it. I didn't realize that, honestly, when I, I bought either. it because I didn't read it. I just saw, oh, it's the private selection. It's the normal one. We'll compare the normal one to the other ones. Uh, the traditional to the other ones, I should say. Um, but with them having that, that whiskey in it, it does have that, like... That barrel uh, mm -hmm. flavor yep. and it changes it and I just I prefer traditional eggnog yeah. to this. Yeah, because what, what they've done was they've added that whiskey flavor but they've taken away the spices or, or it cancels out some It cancels spices. it out. So, it so, so you yeah. don't get the spices in there, right. you just get that whiskey kind of flavor. But you know, this is the only one I saw in there. Yeah, do, you think they, do you think they had another one that wasn't red that I, didn't I should see have the bought? One. I, we didn't see it if they did. No. Well, I mean, these, they may have had it, we just didn't see it. These were all like uh, the, the deep freezer. Is that how you sort of say Refrigerator it? case. Big a refrigerator case, case not a yeah. freezer yes a case yeah so like i didn't go to the door and get them out of the door these you put your hand down in and grab yeah. um they were all together um a big open so cooler. uh they may have just something without that whiskey flavor in the, if you go mm -hmm. to the doors um i don't know but this it is thicker yeah it, it does have the sweetness yeah i like the texture of it okay it's just the it's the whiskey overcomes or cancels out the spices so you don't get much in the way of spices none of these are really like high spice level honestly the oak milk was decently I spiced think the but oak it was, was, was it the most. still wasn't like, i think it was the most spice well, well i enjoy yeah, um, I I would accept any of these. If I were to go to somebody's house. And oh, yeah, offer, I would drink any of them. I would drink any of them. Um, and they're all completely different. Mm -hmm. um, so so it's not that I don't like any of them. But... Um, oh, yeah, just, I don't dislike any of them, honestly. Uh, just for the fun of it, though, uh, let's say which one we would... Which one would you buy again and which one would you not buy? buy again um not that any of them are bad just that you wouldn't buy one um see i probably would not buy the almond milk one mm -hmm. because i didn't really get a lot of spice from that i didn't either but i liked it but you liked it because it was like a sweet milk more than anything <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> but but it didn't it didn't truly represent eggnog. To no, me. it didn't. Um, okay, so which one would you not buy again? That one. The blue oh, one. okay. That's okay. the one I probably would not. And then buy which again. one are you choosing? Um, I really didn't like the whiskey flavor in that one, honestly. So I probably buy the the Chabot and the oat milk one. There you go. There what you would, go. Now what would you get? Um, I would to not to represent eggnog. No, no, that's not the question. The question was which one would I buy again and which one would I not buy again? It doesn't have to represent eggnog. It's just which one would you buy and not buy. I would not buy the Organic Valley again. And I would buy, even though it does not taste like eggnog at all, but I would buy the Blue Diamond. But it doesn't taste like eggnog. If I was to buy one that represented eggnog, it would probably be the Chobani. 
Uh, just so this is sweeter though. Because, but just know if you really need to be a fan of nutmeg because it's the strongest one here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it has the strongest nutmeg. Oh yeah, definitely. Here. Which which is why you're buying a. That's eggnog. why you buy eggnog <laughs> though. But for me, this is just yeah, it's sweet it's, milk. It's sweet milk with a little bit of spice like to it. it. Yeah. So, you'll have to let us know if you've tried any of these. What do you think? Is there a keto eggnog? We want to know. <laughs> I, I don't want to. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.